Okay, now, my dear colleagues and students and partners, we are now going to the recognition of our students, because what is a university without our bright students? So, I'm also very honored to reveal the 2021 Student Award. Now, with this award, assessed also by the jury members behind me, it's a lot of work, that's why we also portray their names. Don't underestimate the work that goes into assessing all these files of all the people that get acknowledged. But with this award, we recognize outstanding cultural or social achievements by students or group of students. And we assess that on the basis of a number of criteria, such as social and cultural impact, as well as sustainability of the initiative. Now, this year, we had also six nominations, coincidence with the previous, and four of them are with us here in the theater, and the other two are joining us online. Thank you also for being here, both online and in the audience. It's all working smoothly today, here they are. And the four, can you please rise? The four that are with us in the theater. Yes, wonderful. And the four nominations, I mean, eh, because they comprise more students than four. And we're gonna first watch a video, and then I'm gonna announce who has won, because they don't know yet, eh? so this is exciting. I'm European Coordinator at University's Allied for Essential Medicines. We are an international student organization and our goal is to increase accessibility to medicines worldwide. How do we do this? Well, first of all, we increase awareness. Second, we empower students to take responsibility and come up with new solutions to the problem. And uh, lastly, we work together with universities to implement policies to make sure that the innovations they come up with are actually accessible around the globe. Cosmopolitan Talks is an international podcast series aiming to cover the impact of COVID-19 on migrants and refugees worldwide. As the members are from all over the world and spread over four continents, we are conducting our meetings and projects virtually. However, even if we are separated, we have one goal, which is the main purpose of this project, to offer funding opportunities for free asylum seekers in Europe for the revenues of our podcast. The Food Club Maastricht was founded by a small group of students who are looking for a grocery store in Maastricht that sells local, sustainable and accessible products. But we couldn't really find that here. So in the past three years, we have dedicated ourselves to set up a non-profit community grocery store, both for students and by students. We are growing every day and working towards our dream of eventually having a full-fledged shop open seven days a week, run by our own members to bring delicious foods to the community of Maastricht. I am the founder of the Legal Aid Clinic for Prisoners. The clinic consists of two limbs, namely the academic and the legal one. For the academic limb, we make sure to promote awareness on the rights of the individuals involved in the criminal justice system. As far as the legal limb is concerned, we strive to provide legal aid for all legal issues uh, related to rehabilitation. Therefore, the clinic advocates for a continuum of socialization and promotes a legal culture of non-punitive ends. We founded the ECA because we recognize how many students in Maastricht and in Europe want to pursue a career within the European Union institutions or related private sector companies. We want to bridge the gap between study and career, as well as between young European citizens and the Union. We provide the tools for students to succeed in their careers. We have partnerships with various EU agencies, as well as we've hosted various high-ranking EU officials at our events. We aim to create a community of supporters of the European project and to foster the introduction of a new generation of value-based European leaders. Salam Alaikum, we are Ramadan in a Box, intercultural Ramadan celebrations. Our goal was to bring people from different backgrounds together and to exchange food, laughter and culture. Normally Ramadan is all about bringing people together, but in Covid times that is of course difficult, but even more important. Therefore we came up with the idea to prepare food boxes which contained a recipe which had a refugee had brought from his or her home country. Over the four weeks of Ramadan, we distributed more than 600 boxes and therewith reached more than 1,000 people in Maastricht and beyond. Together, we want to celebrate unity and diversity. Even in COVID times, we can share a meal together.
Let's give them another big applause. Ah. You can imagine how difficult it was to choose from this year six just so bright ideas and, and I wish we could give you all uh, the awards. But of course, yeah, we had, to, we had to make a decision, which I'm now going to announce. And I'm not going to watch in any direction because then you already know what it will, who, who will not be the person. But the winner of the 2021 Student Award, the jury has chosen Vera. Yeah, she said go. <laughs> she was already uh, off, almost offline, and since she has such a beautiful last name, Vera, you should pronounce your last name. It is Karayanidu. Oh, and I've practiced so many times, but I thought I'm going to struggle here. Vera, congratulations with winning this beautiful award, and we're so happy that you're live here with us on the stage. So. Let me introduce Vera a little bit to our audience because, well, you've seen a little bit from the clip, but there's so much more to say because Vera is the founder of the Legal Aid Clinic for Prisoners, which is, which is a student-driven initiative supported by the Criminal Law and Criminology Department of our Faculty of Law. And the clinic aims to promote the protection of prisoners' rights and provide legal aid for all legal matters related to rehabilitation in, for instance, prisons in Roermond and in Sittard. And given that in the Dutch criminal justice system, legal aid is only provided when a complaint reaches a high degree of severity, Vera took the initiative to found this clinic, aiming to achieve a continuous interaction of the individuals involved in the Dutch criminal justice system by, and I think in particular also coming from you as a student, it, is, it shows also the importance of, of taking care of the rights of our prisoners in the prisons here in the, in the Maastricht region. So thank you so much for bringing this initiative and also to making sure that it becomes sustainable because that is one of the criteria that we have put and we are very confident as a jury that it will continue also if you pursue your uh, career of course elsewhere after you graduate here at, uh, at Maastricht University. So we will make sure that you will receive both the uh, certificate and also the uh, statute that goes with it uh, but that will be arranged uh, later on. And then also we might be able to send you some, uh, some flowers for winning this award. Please, a final applause for Vera. Thank you. If I may just say, if I may just say very yes. quick, a big thank you to the Department of Criminal Law and Criminology of the Faculty of Law of Maastricht University for supporting the clinic from the very preparatory stages. Thank you to my team, Caroline, Pauline, Hawar, Konstantin, Pia, Julia, Chiara, Rachel, Letizia, you are an amazing team. Uh, UM Student Award Jury, thank you very much. This is a great honor. I would like to also congratulate all the nominees who have proven that resilience, vigilance, and solidarity remain in times of crisis. Stay safe, stay strong, and stay connected. Thank you very, very much. No, thank you, Vera. Thank you so much. You can, you can always see students who study at Maastricht University who do problem-based learning. They are very vocal, they know how to present, and this always makes me very proud as a rector.